Hello guys. Welcome to our first lecture on Unix shell scripting. Now before we can talk about shell scripting, we need to find out what Unix is. What is Unix? And how different is it from Linux? What is the shell? And what is the terminal? How are these things different from each other? These are the things we are going to be covering in today's lecture. So let's get straight to it. Now this is my Evernote and you can have access to these notes. All you have to do is to just send me a message. I'll leave the link in the description so that you can just have access to everything that you're going to be seeing in this notebook. Great. What is Unix? Unix is simply an operating system. It's as simple as that. So if it is an operating system, then what then is an operating system? It is a software program that manages a computer's hardware and software resources and provides services for computer programs to run. It acts as an intermediary between the computer hardware and the user. Okay, so simply that is what an operating system is. You want to talk to your computer. You want your computer to perform certain tasks for you. You cannot just talk to your hardware. You can't talk to your monitor. You cannot talk to your keyboard. You need to go through the operating system to assess these resources of your computer and that is the power of the operating system so let's talk more about unix unix was designed to be a multi-user operating system now remember that a few years ago we did not have computers everywhere like we do today and for you to have access to a computer, you might probably have to go into a certain room and you'll be standing there like a monument, a huge structure. And several people had to use the same resource. So now the Unix design was supposed to um, create segregations so that every user can have access to the computer and yet not mess up with other people's files. So now when we say the Unix was designed to be a multi-user operating system, it means that several people could use the um, resources at the same time without crashing the entire system and then also without accessing other people's files. And this is a very good security feature that was incorporated into the Unix architecture. Okay, then Unix is also portable. It means that it can be used on various hardwares. Then one very wonderful aspect of Unix is that it provides a command line interface that allows users to interact with the system and run programs. It also includes a large number of tools and utilities for managing files, etc. If you do not understand all these as yet, do not worry. As we proceed, everything will begin to make sense to you. Now, as you want to become a great software engineer, these are some cardinal historical foundations you should know. Unix was created in the late 1960s at AT&T Bell Labs by a team of programmers including Ken Thompson, Dennis Ritchie, and Brian Kernighan. These are names that you cannot skip when talking about the Unix operating system or C programming language. These are very important names in the computer science world. The first version of Unix was written in assembly language, but it was later rewritten in the C programming language. If this does not make sense to you at, at, as yet, do not worry. In our future video, when we talk about high-level programming languages and low-level programming languages, all of the, these will make sense. Over time, Unix has evolved into many different variants, each with its own features and capabilities. Some of the most popular variants include Linux, Mac OS, and the various flavors of Unix developed by companies such as IBM, HP, and Oracle. Okay, so now you know the difference between Unix and Linux. Linux is simply a, a flavor of Unix. So Linux was built on Unix design principles, the same as the Mac OS. So if you are using a MacBook, then it means that your operating system was built on Unix design principles. And there are various flavors of Unix that have come up um, along the years. For instance, IBM produced um, the AIX, HP produced the HP Unix, and Oracle produced um, Solaris and many others. So with that, we can go into our um, next lecture and begin to talk about the Unix architecture. See you in the next video.